Bruce is in this house, boy. Look, Granddad, it's clear from the scripture that Jesus was not born in winter. The shepherds who saw the angels announcing his birth would not have been out in their fields in December. The Palestinian winters are too cold, if you believe in that sort of thing. The truth is, Christmas evolved from the Roman holiday Saturnalia, a winter festival where men gave gifts to each other. They also would get drunk, have sex with each other, and beat their wives. People would act so crazy on Christmas, the holiday was outlawed by the Protestant church until the 1800s. David, who says, we have friends who do not celebrate Christmas because they say December 25th is really a pagan holiday. How do I respond to them? Well, in a sense, tell them they're right. Winter solstice, a couple of days later, was the shortest day of the year. And the pagans had something called Saturnalia. And it was a time of lawlessness because all the laws were suspended. A bunch of singers were actually wandered the streets naked singing. And, and then they had orgies, sexual orgies. It was a mass thing. When the Catholic Church came along in Italy, the, the Romans and others didn't want to give up their holidays. So they said, okay, we'll Christianize it. So they said, okay, we'll say the birth of Jesus was the 25th of December. All this business about mistletoe, pagan. Christmas trees, pagan. Giving out gifts, Pagan. Every bit of it is pagan. Every single bit of it is pagan. The Christmas tree goes back to Semiramis and Tammuz. The queen, Semiramis, told worshippers that when Nimrod was killed, some of his blood fell on the stump of an evergreen tree, and the stump grew into a full new tree overnight. The tree symbolized dead Nimrod, and the new evergreen tree symbolized how he came to life again as the reborn, unconquered god. This is a pagan symbol. Pagans use this in their celebration of the sun god. Scripture even speaks about it going back to the scripture in Jeremiah chapter 10 verses 2 through 4. Thus says Yahweh, do not learn the way of the Gentiles. Do not be dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the Gentiles are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are futile. For one cuts a tree from the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen, with the axe. They decorate it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers, so that it will not topple. He's speaking of a Christmas tree. It should be called a Tammuz tree, because it's all pagan. Yet how many homes of families that classify themselves as Christians place this tree up in their homes, and Christian churches place this up in their sanctuary? Christmas is a pagan holiday.